Where the white devil am I? Oh, I'm here. Welcome back, everyone. You are Templar. Dying light. Hold on, just a little refresher course. Let's get back. This, this is it, actually. I looked it up. This should be the final mission. We're on our way to the finale right now. Crazy. We've come all this way. Honestly, I thought the game was going to be a little bit longer. I guess if you run around doing all the side quest stuff, it could be. Now that that other area did open up that tunnel area, and I kind of remember where it is, right? Where is it? I think that's it, right? No, that's an airdrop. I'm gonna ignore that. That's evil. There it is. Remember, there's that tiny little branch area that like quickly connects us to the other side. Oh, we haven't even explored everything yet in this area. Weird. I thought they would like use most of the area for their storytelling, but it looks like there's actually quite a bit up here to the north. That's just for completionists and exploring, and gathering supplies. What the? Oh, underwater allergy. I never really got into like the booster power effects either. For all I know, one of them could actually help you like do the super jumps. Oops. <laughs> or do the super kicks as well. I mean. Well, let's go finish it. Let's go complete this. If I want, I guess I could, like, live stream some of the, um, uh, random quest. I might do that. They never explain these burning ones that don't die. Are they just tougher now and more flammable? Like, they can burn, but they also just hang out burning? Like, that one's not explained. There's just, some of them are just on fire now. Like, that happened, like, maybe two missions ago out of nowhere. All of a sudden, everything could just burn forever. Well, not everything, but some of the zombies. Tell you what, I am having a really good time. Oh, God. Sorry about that. <laughs> I accidentally ran into that zombie. I was too busy, like, thinking and looking around and enjoying things. I was just sort of going with the flow. <laughs> I had to do a little shove. Oh, yeah, they're over there with that airdrop. I'm not gonna deal with that though. Oh, are they sniping me? They got a spit boy spitting? Can I grab onto the. I forgot what these are called. <laughs> I wanna say wind dial, but that didn't sound right. Tell you which direction the wind's coming from. That can't be right, right? A wind dial? I would remember if it was called a wind dial. Why do I want to, why do I want to call it that, though? So, oh. Well, on the plus side, I glitched it and didn't take any damage, so. There you go. Go on, then. Get back up. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he can. Alright, how do I get up here? Oh, okay. Uh, probably would have been better from over here if I had just done this. Hooah! <clears throat> it's time to activate the last mission. Actually, this mission's not even finished yet. The clinic? We're still doing it. Now that I see that. <sighs> Please? Eh, eh, eh. Come on. What's with this asymmetrical art architecture? Asymmetrical art deco. Eh. Come on. Take me down to Paradise City. Well, I'm grabbing on some angles, man. Hey, Troy. I give the samples to Dr. Camden. Now I'm gonna go have a little talk with the GRE. And what are you going to tell them? Suck a lemon. Everything. <clears throat> I'll meet you later, Troy. This is Crane. Do you copy? 
The GRE is so evil that they apply a... Rise. Where are uh, you? With CSI New York exactly blue filter on everything. My own tower. Of course, mine is not quite complete, but... What is that Thunderdome over there? Were we in there? It's a monument to chaos, to entropy, to what it means to be ruled only by oneself. I'll kill you for what you did to Jade. For everything, I'll fucking kill you! I had hoped that would be your attitude. You see, we are at war, you and I. A war of opposing philosophies. A war to see whose vision of the world proves true. Come, Crane. Come and challenge me. What is it you Americans are so fond of saying? I dare you. <laughs> you know what? Forget I double dog dare there you. There is no war. There's only your <clears throat> fucked up outlook. Go to hell. Oh, no, 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 no. I won't be going to hell. I will be leaving Arando, you see. I have made a deal with our GRE brothers using your very own communicator, no less. They know I have all of Dr. Zera's research data. They call it the keys to the kingdom. Very shortly, a helicopter will come and take me away. Imagine the damage I shall be able to do outside the confines of these walls. Of course, if you think you can stop me. You crazy son of a bitch! That is what I had hoped to hear. Come and find me, Crane. <laughs> Let us finish what we begin. It's time. Extraction. Confirm where he's at the top of his tower. I shall. <clears throat> it's confronting time. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. I'm bringing my slow but damaging pickaxe with me, too. And a whole lot of guns. And I wish I could carry more ammo for this stuff. This is the maximum amount. This is my time to shine. I can just make that. I was judging it. I was trying to see, like, is it high enough to hurt my ankles? And then I decided, I think that's right, the amount. Or it's okay. Oh, 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 there. Sally, Jesse, Raphael, you calm down. Noise. Noise? Are those zombies talking? Or is that a human? Oh yeah, that's a human. Don't leave him alone. Let me in! Wait, what's this? Oh, it's a challenge. Into the sewers. Rice made a deal with the GRE. Now he's about to escape from Haran with the rest of Zara's research. I can't let that happen, and Rice knows it. Did I say Ewok Templar die in light at the beginning? Because that's kind of important. It's kind of integral to the plot. <laughs> now that I think about it. Alright. Oh. Where the white devil am I? This isn't the sewers at all. Wait, did it just make me go through the sewers, like, faster? Did, did it let me speed through the sewers? Because that's amazing if it did. Um. Can't open that door. This one's open, though. Can't open this one either. What the what? How do I get out of here? One would ask. You told me to come in here. To do the missions. Oh, here's the sewers again. Oh, this stuff first we stocked. <laughs> you got more stuff for me, bro? That's cool. It's suspiciously quiet here too. I don't like that. I mean, I like it because it means maybe I won't have to fight my way through the sewers. I just gotta get through them. I take that back. Sounds like something's down there.
Keep your wits about you. Okay. Oh, the door's open. For a second there, I thought this is the walk around part. I don't think I've ever been over here. Who's that? Is that a zombie? I think it is. Or it's an ally. No, it's zombies. But it's just regular ones. We're okay. We can leave them. They can do their weird zombie thing. Wait, is this the way I'm supposed to go? Looks like it, right? We have to ninja our way up there. Do I have to go higher up? I do. Interesting. Can I make that? Hmm. This is actually a little bit high. I'm supposed to do this. There we go. I was about to say, is this a dead end that it leads me down? Can I shake the water off my head? Because it lasts a while. Hold on. I'm here just like that? Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here, dude? I mean, he's just patrolling. I can get away from him. They're, he's tough, but he ain't invincible. I think that was a floating rock. Oh, yeah, he's mad. He's big mad. Oh, we got a spitter the guy there, too. There's two spitter guys. Hey. Oh, they hit me. I don't know if I wanted to go this way, but I'm going this way. I'm assuming I'm still quite the distance away. I was just outside, and now it wants me to go back into the tunnels. I do this every single time. Every single time I want to go on an adventure. Wait, do I just jump down? I was hoping there'd be a faster way back to the old regular town. I thought there was. I thought, I, I guess I could have gone to the other one and seen that, like, because it said it go to the slums, you know what I mean? Ow. Hey, guys. Nope. <laughs> I'm on a mission. Can't close that door for some reason, but it's cool. Oh. To the slums. Yeah, 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 yeah. It would have taken me back. I should have gone the other way. Rice made a deal with the faster. GRE. Now he's about to escape from Haran with the rest of Zara's research. I have no idea what happens if Rice does that. Is he going to eat a baby? Would you say 10 million? All right, looks like I'm here now. I'm finally back. I could go give that guy his gun. Maybe I'll do that. I haven't visited the regular tower in a while. Not to mention it took me a while to walk back. I might as well sleep, even though it's only been like a few minutes. Looks like everything's okay. Ooh. Oh no, they're dying. It's the fire. Oh no. Who's gonna help them? Well. Oh, I missed one. Uh oh, they're getting mad. There's a couple of dead bodies out there in the fire. Alright. Oh man, there's so many buses here though. 
And you know they're all gonna have goodies. I don't need that no the plank. I don't know why I grabbed it. Uh oh. <laughs> Guess I'm overstaying my welcome. Nah. <clears throat> <laughs> there you go. Oh, where's the regular tower? Where's home base? I haven't been here in a while. I want to go visit them. What's this? Get inside. That's where I used it. They want me to go back in immediately. I didn't even finish everything that's over here. There's so much sacrifice and stuff. What's this? Did it that? Safe zone? That's got to be the tower I'm looking for. The stadium? Ride the elevator up. Yeah. Place a waypoint. Track objective? No. Defense? What is this? Protect. A protect mission. I've done those before. <laughs> they ain't fun. I'll be fine. All these ninja years, ninja training. Really? No, no jump down spot right here? Huh. Oh, they're mad. Big mad. Saw that? It wanted it. It's like, you! Hmm, that's not so high right here. Yeah. <laughs> Sneak in. Down low. A weird, a weird crouch scaffolding device. On the other side getting warm hard you can keep it what is it cigarettes and a and a stick i'm good on those man <laughs> oh you're mad what they don't care she's big mad I'm trying to insta-kill her with the foot thing, but it's not letting me. Almost had it. Maybe be a little bit more patient. There it is. There you go. Paint it black. That's a good song. You guys are good zombies. Stay classy. Oh, someone has an arm off. Saw that? Now, what am I doing? Should probably be beelining to my... My peeps back at the tower. Say goodbye to them. My inventory's full. How? I've done nothing, man. That's another reason to go visit them. I should probably just either sell or scrap some stuff. I'm gonna go give that guy his gun. Let's go. Let's. I, I know this is the final mission. We have time, though. I feel like let's go give him his gun. You want a gun? Oh god, the tunnel. No. Mm mm. No, I don't like it in there. It's probably, like, a little bit faster to do it. But it's just not comfortable. Let me up. Let me up. Oh, God, is there an invisible wall? Do I have to go through the tunnel? Is there a way around? I could go up the highway. I haven't done that one before. The tunnel is just so much shorter, though. It's got all these lines drawn on in it, though, and I know why. Because it's like, hmm, you're gonna have problems. I honestly thought it was gonna force me to go around, like, through a wall. Because of a big car crash or something. Survivors inside. <laughs> hey, Survivorinos, I came to stop by and say hi. Oh man. The zombies today. Always with the. You ever notice that? Ah, oh, come on. I had enough momentum. Come on, give it to me, buddy. I just want to visit my peeps. One last time before we go give Rise the business. 
It's time I gave that guy that gun I promised him like 20 moons ago. Oh, aha! Come on. Alright, go back. Go back then. Go this way instead. Come on. For the other ninjas. For the leaf village. There we go. Right, I'm supposed to come down right here. It's fine. And they're bad at climbing. Ninja slide. Here it is, the tower. What? What are you doing out here? That's no, protect mission. Leave him alone. Let him do his thing. He wants to be out here doing stuff. That's his idea. That's that's his mission. That's his fun, happy time. The government. The government here in the core. That is absolutely unacceptable. Do I want to keep that dagger? I think I need it for crafting something. I have this dagger, though. I mean, it's green. 65. Yeah, we can send that to the Shadow Realm. Heavy blacksmith sledgehammer. Oh, I bet it's a two-handed weapon. I'll probably... Let's just sell that. Vegetable cleaver. Goodbye. Planked board. Goodbye. Heavy sledgehammer. Even bigger. 279. Oh... Does it tell me if it's a two-handed weapon? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Oh, I see, I probably should just sell both of them anyway. I have the axe, heavy splitting axe. What's better, the sledgehammer or the axe? I'm thinking, this. I'm thinking the axe. Sledgehammer does more damage. The axe is an axe, it does cutting damage. This is too much thinking right here. I'm just gonna sell the sledgehammers and be done with it. Hey, give me all that. Thank you, quartermaster boy. <laughs> but I doesn't like when I call him that. And I can't. Oh, I could probably sell one of those shields because he just gave me a shield too. Oh, where's my player stash down here? Bozak. Come here. You got something for me? Do you have gauze? No, you don't. Why would you? Camo police rifle. What does that even mean? 184, let's compare that to this. Ah, uh, it's doing the same. And mine's silenced. So, you know, I think I'll keep it. Here, I'm going to sell you a couple of sledgehammers, but brother man. You look like a man who appreciates a hammer. Ooh, this one's worth quite a bit, actually. Sell all my valuables, of course. I'm not using them for anything. Sell. Where, where'd the other sledgehammer go? I completely lost track of it. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Now keep the dagger for now because I want to go back. That should be it. Yeah, you got some. Ooh, that's a nice machete. Mm mm mm. A special deal for I almost have enough money to retire with. Anywho, oh, here's player stash right here. Alright, first things first. We grab the German 9mm, and then we put away... I didn't sell the other shield, did I? It's fine, I'll just keep it. I'm gonna put away that knife, though. Okay, okay. Military throwing knives, I should probably sell those to him, too. Hey, buddy. Military throwing knives? You ever see any of these? Huh? You ever see those? They're yours now deal with it I could sleep wait till night I could do the sleep but I need to complete that mission where was he was he on the second floor he wasn't down here I don't think might be better if I go over here let's see one of the tower savers wants his family out of the slums but he needs a gun so he can reach the exit point in return he offered me a key to his pawn shop that could be a, that could be a bounty track quest All right. It used to be a really nice town, you know. Just so that I don't accidentally give him my pistol that I like. Why am I keep all these police rifles? Oh, I guess I can't forge them into other things. 
right? But I think all the recipes just require for rifle. They don't need a... That here's weapon. Should I use that against the dude, right? I'll take that with me. We'll use that on our eyes. If, if we have to use a... If we have to use a melee weapon, I'm gonna put my pistol away for now. Ooh. I should probably also buy pistol ammo for me. You have ammo? No? Oh, there it is. I don't, I don't know why I flew past it. Yeah. Give me all that. She's so high above me. Like Joan of Arc or Aphrodite. There's a lot to be done around the tower. Messenger. I hope you find some time to take a look at the board. No. No. You tower things. Coffee. Need coffee. Bandages and meds. Lighter gas. Okay, so there's all kinds of bounties you can go do. Gather Mr. supplies Jim, for people. I should like to have a word with you. There's a random triple bounty up here? What is that? Pick up bounty. Who sends the aircraft? The government? Oh, sorry. This is gonna be a weird for now. <laughs> Alright. The tower. Durad, one of the tower's residents. A freak job. A known madman. What do you got? Do you have gauze? You do! <laughs> a man after my own heart. Why do you always do the shoulder shrug like, I guess, uh... Like, is he confused about what he's doing? I guess I'll sell you gauze, because that's like my job in the tower? I don't know. You there. You got it? Great. Here's the key I promised you. It's to my old pawn shop, you know? Used to be the best in town. Hey, speaking of the pawn shop, would you do me another favor? I need you to bring me something from the shop. You're going there anyway, right? What is it? It's a... Don't laugh, okay? It's a Ray McCall action figure. I know it sounds silly, but... It means a lot to my son. I really hope these guys make it. Because if they go out there... And his son's head just explodes immediately... I'm gonna be... I'm gonna feel bad. I'm gonna be like, oh man. And I gave him the gun that made him think that he could do it. He could survive out there. He could... Oh. God, you gotta take the elevators. He could go down like Chinatown and bring the syrup. All right, let's do this. Let me in. Jack in, download. Is I gonna read it out loud? I gave Duwad a gun, and now I've got the keys to his pawn shop. Hope it was worth the trouble. Also, need to find a Ray McCall uh, action figure for Duwad's kid. <laughs> Duwad. Duwad. His name's Duwad. He's kind of Duwad. <laughs> Almost sounds like an insult, man. You're such a Duwad. Like a wad filled du dud. Look at that. Non traditionalist. Get at me. Alright. If I had to guess, this might require action. The mission we're about to do. It might involve us having to deal with the Zomers, as they like to be called. This pawn shop's over here in the slum Lowerville. Which I guess, you know, it's fine. It's cool. It is what it is. A lockpick. Oh man, they cleaned up the ice cream machine. Man. Ooh, it's like a Fallout workbench. Uh oh, zombers. Remember those guys I mentioned earlier that like to eat people? Well, that's them. They're watching me now. What's that sound? <laughs> it's not a zomber coming to. Question my authority, is it? Oh, you fucked up! You fucked up! You messed up, dude! Right in front of me, too. You took a spill.
These guys are in his pawn shop. Can you believe that? Come on up. Come on up. Freak job. Freak. You little freak. My god, he's on fire. What are you doing, freak? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Wait, no one told me I could do this. Come up here. Oh, I killed him. Oh, no. Well, his fire finally went out. They're only flammable when they're still zombified alive for some reason. And once they once they die, their ability to burn goes away. They, they expel the nutrients that was burning. Hmm, this doesn't seem to be operational. Ooh, there's a gas tank there. I guess I could throw it at someone. Considering how heavy a gas tank is, even without exploding it, you should be able to throw it at a zombie from a certain height and it'll break their neck. Like, that makes sense, right? Just... <laughs> <laughs> They're all like... What? Uh. Did anyone else see that? How accurate am I? Alright, it's got a little bit of an arch. Something like that. <laughs> Yeah. Am I even hitting it? Oh, now they're gathering around looking at me. Now I feel stupid. We'll be fine. <laughs> the slow mo. Oh, broke the wood. One of them flew so far but lived. Check that out. He's probably mad. He's probably big mad. They're all my friends, my zombie friends. We were having a good time, then someone exploded us. I guess I could have grabbed my pistol after I gave him that pistol, right? This place is locked up tighter than a Benny Hill. That's a weird analogy, right? They're not well known for being locked up. Oh god, no. Consider their, the following. <laughs> I threw her right into that fire. Right into that burning car. Oh, wait, what do you want? Where's the entrance? Oh, here it is. Oh, it's actually a good thing I blew those people up. I was gonna say, it'd be a hell of a thing if I came in here and he left a zombie in here. What do we got? 76 bucks? Yeah, I guess that makes worth it. Ooh, a note. A collectible. Why is it playing that music? Usually doesn't play that until like night falls upon us. I thought it was Q. I thought that was a Q for it being closer to nightfall. Rifle ammo. Look at all these lockpicks. Oh man, I should give this guy a pistol a long time ago. Well, I didn't get a second pistol for a while. I guess I could have bought one. He's got a lot of metal here that we can recycle. We don't need to do that, though. I grabbed a rusty wrench anyway. Didn't mean to. Yeah, man, if you need some supplies, you have to definitely set some money aside to buy that guy a pistol. Ooh. We got the legendary action figure. A cricket bat. String. Nice. Is that everything? Any of these a good CD? Like, is that Blink 182's debut album? What, what is that? Is that Meteora by Linkin Park? Come on, man. All right, enough joking around. <laughs> Surprise! Oh, what? I was tapping A. Get over there. Get over there. You go down there. Look at this. Sleeping on the job. Man. I should just hang out here and do the side missions here. <laughs> Zombies here are way more chill. Except when I first got here. There was there was the 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 rampaging supercharge boy. What was his name? What are those guys called? The brutes? That do the shoulder run towards you? <laughs> so mad. I gotta crush it in my shoulder. Anywho, let's go get my pistol back. Oh, what are you doing? What do you think you... What do you think you're doing? Huh? You wanna go? Your friend over there. 
He's like he's trying to talk to me. Dude, just... Alright, I'll do it for you. There you go. She's having a hard time with that car. Don't worry, he's just a little dead. He'll be alright, miss. I know you're worried about him. <laughs> Is he your boyfriend? What's going on? Here. Parting gift from me to you. <laughs> she didn't even left her hands up to defend her, so... She just got... Thank you. I like getting my agility higher. Whoa, brother man. Attention everyone, this is Brecken. If anyone sees Dawood, get him back to the tower ASAP. He's got a gun. I repeat, he's got a gun. He winged a guard on his way out. Oh no. No, dude, don't tell me. He went crazy and started shooting the regular humans because he wanted it. Should I save this dude? The zombies usually do. Well, they die easily. Oh, there's one more apparently. God damn it! Help me out for fuck's sake! Shouldn't you cover up this window and also maybe move to the tower that's right over there? Oh, I think he died on his own volition, but he gave him one on the way down anyway. You showed up when you did. That's nice. That's a nice reward. 281 bucks. That's pretty good. That's more than the cash register at the world's most famous pawn shop, hosted by what was his name? Benedict Slapboy. I forget his name. One of these days, I'm expecting to open one of these and a tiny zombie to jump, just jump out and try to bite me. <laughs> a little freak, you know what I mean? It's the tower. Okay, we're good. We're too close to the tower. I was like, oh, a zombie? A bambi? I've entered the safe zone. It was suspiciously safer than usual. Don't. Don't do that. If you do that, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what I'm saying or doing. If you do that, I'm just gonna put these pipes out because they picked up away. I don't feel like breaking them down just yet. Outfits storage. There you go. That's how you do it. Special deal for you. I got a very special deal for you too in my pantalones. <laughs> hey, it auto equipped it. That's nice. Let's go upstairs. Let's go talk. No, wait. I gave him the gun because he said he could defend himself against the zombies. I didn't mean to start a ruckus. There's a lot to be done around the tower. <clears throat> I hope you find some time. Something gone wrong. Duad grabbed his son and fled the tower. Apparently he shot someone on the way out. I wonder if this doll hunt was just a diversion to get me out, out of the way. No, a diversion. Duad! Is that guy shot? Like immediately? What the hell happened? I heard the shots. I knew he was going to snap. How did he get the gun? Just glad he didn't kill anyone. Oh, so it's my fault that I gave him a gun. Okay. That should feel bad, because I I give people guns and he, they go crazy and start shooting up the place. Sort out what happened. Do what? Is he up here? Oh man, it's his beers and his smokes. Is that one not even open? Should drink them for him. I'm in a safe zone, but I can't kick. Doesn't sound very safe to me. To me, the safest zone is all the mobile plants. For plants that you need to make put make on the move. Oh, I'm too high up. He's actually not on the roof. really cool if he could actually climb these. Alright, so that's his tower. It's right there. So that means the tunnel that I just exited was right, right over there. Okay.
I like it when a world has like that continuity thing. What would that what would that be underneath? No, world bit world build world building? What happened? Where's the wood? He has gone. And he has taken my boy. Salma. Okay, can you tell me what happened? He has wanted to leave for weeks, but I thought it was too dangerous. We have been fighting about it. Then he took a gun and took all of our money and kidnapped Sammy. He took my son. All Do you know money. where he's going? He kind of left you he some? He said he found a way out, but I don't know what it means. He would not tell me. Ya Allah. <gasps> the submarine? How could he do this? How did he get a gun? I'm sorry, Sama. I got it for him. He said he would use it to get both of you out. La la la. La la la. Dawood does not want me. He has not wanted me for a long time. Now he has what he wants. I'll get your son back, Salma. I don't know how, but I will. It's time. This is a sad story. I feel like this is gonna be a sad story. The wood. Answer me, you son of a bitch. Answer me. No need to shout, Crane. No need to follow me either. It's pointless. I'm following Please, him. Tell Salma I'm sorry. I had no choice. Sammy's gonna be safe. I swear. Wait, don't. The wood. The wood. Where Dawood. are you? Shit. I'm gonna find a wood. I'm gonna turn him into one of these. My game. Tic tac. Allows you run up a wall or other flat surfaces even after a jump. What's this though? Reversal. Using reversal stuns the biter for three seconds. What is reversal though? When grabbed? Allows you instantly break free from a biter's grab. So this is based off insta escape. That sounds pretty good. <clears throat> the length of tackles in July drop. I really want the fall down. I also want the vault. I never got that one. Which one will be more, more useful, though? I feel like I've already gotten used to that. Uh, that would be like that would be nice. I want I want this one though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyhow, come on! Someone's screaming. We gotta go help. <clears throat> and if all the side quests are like this, Rice made a deal with the GRE. Now he's about to escape from Haran with the rest of. We're not talking about rice right now. We're talking about uh, uh, Duwad. Duwad the Wad, as he so lovably called. Duwad. It's about midday. We're making good time. Duwad could have done anything, but he did the one thing he shouldn't have. Oh. <laughs> I love it. It didn't look right the first time I did it, though. It looked like I just sort of hovered over them for a second, just like, oh. I like, did I mention I'm a pirate ghost? Because that's kind of a integral to the plot. A parkour challenge. Oh. All right. That's on me. Do what? Did you start screaming it? I don't even know where I'm going. I just started running towards the objective. <gasps> A creepy tunnel. My least favorite thing. <clears throat> no one's in here, though. Looks like there's not a way through. What is that? Investigate. Quarantine zone. That sounds dangerous. That sounds like big, big side mission right there. Investigate quarantine zone doesn't even talk about it. That could be everything over here for all we know. <clears throat> no one ever even mentioned it. I wonder if it's a side quest. Hey, there's a quarantine zone. 
It's like bigger and better than all the other zombie areas. If you want to go over there and give it a little talking to. Dang, where did he go? Wait, am I just going towards the mission now? Yeah, I am. What's this? Rise people were spotted in the tunnel near the lake. Is that just the go murder them side quest? What's this target? Go to prison. I don't want to go to prison. Oh, that's what that is. It's a repeatable quest. It's DLC. I think it's it's just gone. I think that's the, actually the completing the mission. Is him just saying there's no need for you to follow me either, and he disappears. All right. Well, I had thought there'd be more to his mission. Because literally, I say that I'm gonna go find uh, her son, and then the quest just disappears. What is this? Yeah, that's all stuff I can probably do during a live stream randomly. This right here is a mission. Though. This is why we play. This is why we're here. Ooh. A clean bus. I should have known. Rise obviously grabbed it to make a defensive position right here. Why does this count as a safe zone? This is weird. All right, we got the autosave. We're going in. It's time. You're about to enter the game finale. This part of the game is played in single player and you cannot return to other maps. You'll be able to come back to exploring Huron after finishing the game and loading the last save. Do you want to continue? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> this is it. Louis tells you. Rice made a deal with the GRE. Now he's about to escape. Not on my watch. He ain't escaping nothing. Not this again. Oh, oh God. Do I finally fully change during this mission? Rise. Rise! I should probably equip the knife, shouldn't I? Just in case. I doubt it will even let me use it. What happened here? These guys look dead. Did he get invaded while he was away? <sighs> Vision's getting all weird. Oh shit, what the hell? I knew you could not resist Craig. Oh, would you just shut up? You're the last thing I want to hear. What? Hear me? What a brilliant idea. <laughs> Much better. It is fitting that an orchestra plays when kings clash. Really? The they threw their weapons at me. Way. They are evolving, aren't they? Alright, come on up here. Do it. slide over here for a second, you guys don't mind. Oh, this is kind of thing where I have to... I have to kill him. I have to kill the big guy first. Oh 
Okay. He's dead. Is that another one? I think it is. I think it is. I think it's another one. At least I can freak over them thing, though. It's really nice. Where's the big guy? Is he out there? Do I have to go out there? <laughs> you think I was gonna play fair with you, big guy? solved itself. Oh, come on. Can't you see I'm trying to talk here? Oh, he actually got me that time. Why are you on fire? I'm going down there. There are two of them. This is annoying. Let me shoot it. Why do I have to do it this way? Oh, great. Heal. Psychic ball juices at me. Whoa, action. What? Why didn't it let me slide that? That was clearly a slideable moment. Oh, what? That's bull. That's baloney. It, it didn't give me the, the slide between the legs bit. Rise, you bitch. Summoning your damn zombie horde on me. Okay, yeah, that, that hit me. Yeah, that's fair. Surely that'd be the end of that.
God dang it. Quite an entrance. Perhaps you are a king. A king of mud. Dear Crane. Accept an offering to the king. Are you just gonna shoot you missiles at me? me? You cannot defeat me. I'm gonna kill him and defeat him. You also, I'm thinking about not even using the knife on him. If I have the option to just shoot him with my shotgun, I'm gonna do that. Oh, I see what I gotta do. It's a bit tricky. Ooh. So is he just back there throwing explosives hmm. down? Like a cool guy? <laughs> It's gonna be like the Punisher video game where he's up here in Iron Man armor. Let me offer you a bit of a compliment. How'd all you dudes die and turn into zombies? Played by slaves. Perfect for a slave. Is that what you think of me? Come on, come on, faster, goddammit. Before I turn into one of them. Is that how the story ends? You just get your revenge and then you die and become a zombie on a rooftop? That'd be kind of sad. Kind of cool, too. friend until death happens. How do you guys like that? Huh? I haven't used this gun all game. I saved it all for you guys. Few more. Alright, that made me feel good. I'm supposed to go up somehow. Would be easier if all these freaks were in here. Oh, really? He survived. what I expected. Whoa, lady. <laughs> Whoa, what are you doing? Hmm. Where do I go? I like that, the bolt thing. I just sort of go through them. What the fuck is going on? This is what we get for trying to make a living. Rice betrayed us all. Yeah, I'm on my way up there, Kareem. I'm gonna kill that motherfucker with my bare hands. Not this way. We've laid mines on the two floors above us. Go through the second block as high as you can. And you can come back. They laid mines. That means I gotta climb on the outside of the building up. Ooh, that's a rough one. Alright, let's go for it. Any secrets up here? I mean, I guess it is like finale. They wouldn't have me searching for a bunch of stuff I wasn't gonna be using immediately. Hmm. 
managed to warn you, did he not? I was right to shoot him. Some might think it unsporting of me, taking aim at you like this. I liked you better when you didn't talk so damn much. But I consider it a matter of, let us call it, leveling the playing field. Great. Yes. So we go to the runners. At least. Supposed to go up actually. That was a bad shot. <laughs> Dang, there's no way up from here. Oh, there it is. Zombies up here. What in the white devil is that? Second to breathe. Oh. Oh, what? Did that one just run towards me and explode instantly? Well, that's a new zombie I have to deal with. Spitter up here? What's going on? Ah. Oh, okay. Screaming in a panic. Allow me to add to your sack. What am I gonna do? Kill the big guy? Waste all my ammo on him? Last time, those big guys weren't even going down. I think they were designed to just live. Crane on a crane. I just got that. still throwing stuff at me, I'm like literally way up here. At some point, the zombie's gotta be like, all right, I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit him from here. Sometimes, dude. Consider yourself a member of an exclusive club. Where are you hiding, you fucker? Sad for you, it is a club I need to disband. Can you imagine being so good at this game that you just run this entire sequence? <laughs> That'd be awesome to see. Burning the need for revenge. Eaten at 
Is that what they do? Oh, he's gotta be here. This is the sequence. What is he gonna do? Shoot me with a rocket in the face? So, face to face again. I guess that means I don't need this anymore. With or without it, Suleiman, you're dead. Come now, Crane. Do not pretend you don't care. How many lives depend on this disc? Hundreds, thousands, perhaps billions. <clears throat> He shoots you. I hit X. Of course I don't have my gun. You are right about one thing, Crane. Suleiman, he's dead. Oh, it's a sequence. He died with his brother in the city. You don't even believe me. Oh yeah, because he only has one hand. I forgot about that. I took his other hand. I don't know what suffering is. No, my suffering. I used to know what it was. We're having them all my guns. I kind of need them right now. I will teach you, Craig. No, no, you're not allowed to have it. You're not allowed to have it. Your own machete. Look at that. I'll take his other hand. Take his other hand. Take his other hand. Yes. Go on. You cannot resist. Do it. I won't fight you. Just as you killed Tahir. Do it! Fuck you, asshole. Trip take you want me to make off. my own rules? Rule number one. You're gonna spend the rest of your goddamn life in fucking agony. Do not leave me like this, Crane. Prove you are a man. Just take your vengeance. Will you just shut the fuck up? <laughs> That's the best response I've heard. Oh, look. It isn't the butt clowns themselves. Let's keep going. How the day was returned in the blink of an eye. If I were trapped in Iran, this one would have killed me. But now you dangle on the edge of life and death. While the GRE wait to take me to a hospital. I give you the honor of deciding your own fate. Hand me the disc, so that there is at least a chance that Haran might live. And I will make your death painless. Resist, and do this city along with you. You have until the count of five. One, two... All right, all right! Here! for some reason, like all the way down there. Like it's just a <laughs> fireball. <laughs> like he lands on a big pile of his own mines that he planted. Offering you a chance here. 
Get the rest of the research and come with us. I can think of a lot of reasons to tell you to go fuck yourself, but why don't we just pretend for a minute that you don't think I'm stupid? You need the cure. It's here, in the city, somewhere. And as long as it is, you won't try to pull any ministry-style bullshit. Crane, why do you even give a fuck what happens to these people? You don't belong here. This is just a job for you. No, not anymore, it's not. I'll be in touch when I've decided what to do next. Yeah, Doc, I hear you. What's going on? The analysis just finished on the tissue samples. The results are... Well, I don't think the word phenomenal is too strong. Crane, if you can recover Zara's data, I'm certain a cure is within reach. All right. Hey, we'll talk about it next time I see you. That's the Get end. To the nearest safe house and wait until dawn. Good night and good luck. Bittersweet. Complete the game. I wonder if this game had multiple endings. Because that was interesting. I wonder if you did more or if you're on a harder difficulty if things change. I have to look that up. That is not what I expected it to do, though, to be honest with you. I am satisfied, kind of, with that. It'd be interesting if they actually worked out a boss fight instead of just an in sequence. Because it seems like the final boss fight is literally first a survival run, seek running sequence, and then a a climbing sequence. Which it was pretty cool. I liked it. The game in total was pretty awesome. I was surprised and taken by it. Challenging though. Definitely more difficult than I thought it would be. It's the reason why I decided, like after messing around with it, to play it on story mode instead of normal. I wouldn't, it was actually very fun gameplay wise. Like, I actually beat this a lot faster than I thought I would. The game's campaign length is uh, decent. It probably would take me a lot longer if I actually like explored the world a little bit more and did some more of the side quests. Because side quests, as you saw, are actually kind of lengthy. In fact, I feel like we spent more time doing that one side quest than we did for the like the final mission. Even though the final mission was like the other half of this this long episode. Would I recommend it? Yeah, especially if people like liked that that type of game, like Left 4 Dead or Mirror's Edge, and this weird com combination of the two. Honestly, though, it's cli uh, if I had to critique it in any way, the climbing thing to where there's only one way back down, like, it wasn't intuitive. There's no, like, climb down button. Like, I wish I could, like, look at a ledge while not moving and push the the jump button while looking at the exact edge and just automatically go into a climb down sequence. And I know that's not useful for a lot of things, seeing as it's all about that one direction. You get up to escape and you go down by falling or gracefully, like, going down and, like, like, step by step. So it is kind of situational. It's a weird little critique because it's, like, not totally necessary. Like, as you saw, I could do the game very com comfortably, except for that one part where I was climbing the tower. But then, like, the way back down from the tower is always the zip line. So it has, like, its own answer to that, that gameplay flow. Which I respect. I did. I complained about it a bit during that sequence way back when. I was actively like talking about how that made me feel when we were doing it. But now that I reflect on it, it's like eh, it's like a half critique because it's like I could take it or leave it. Honestly, I could I could take it. The game, the way you move down, is just like this, and you don't need to change it. Or if they wanted to change it, I wouldn't be mad at it. You know what I mean? Like, it works. Movement, flow, combat was a bit uh, on the side of realism, which is not something I always... I'm not, like, I'm... I'm not against it, I'm not, like, for it 100% of the time, you know what I mean? Like, if a game calls for it, fine. 
Definitely not something that I want to get caught in, though. You know? Because, like, being able to get hit while you're in the middle of a sequence or while you're doing something else, like, when I'm grabbing the zombies that are, like, attacking me and I'm throwing them to my side and I can still get punched in the back, and those... You saw how much damage those virals do. Like, I'm playing on story mode and they would still do, like, 40 damage in a single, in a single like, attack run against your back, like in four or five hits, like boom, 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 boom. Like they just punch you really fast in the back and wipe out like a third of your health. I felt like, man, that's kind of taxing, seeing as if you're not like good at the game, you're already getting beat up on, in the front enough. As you saw, there there are many times I almost died during the Escape the Zombie mission. I'm not sure how tough those white split lip zombies are, but I never was able to kill one. And I remember we were in the sewers, I actually put two shotgun shells in one of them, and he was still fine and ready to fight. But I'm not sure if that's a good measurement, because that was for that sequence, and it felt like there were some zombies there, like the little ones I could kill, but the big ones, like you saw how many bullets I put into that one guy that was throwing stones way over there, just because I didn't know it was a runaway sequence. So I would like to go back and actually try or look up if you can kill the split lip guys, or if you're just supposed to avoid them and run away from them. Because I feel like two shotgun shells to the face should have been enough, since there was also a legendary shotgun. It was a custom shotgun, a uh, sandstorm. Shot him two sandstorm rounds in the face, and he was like, whatever. And also, I emptied like a clip of the assault rifle almost into one of them when I was trying to just stop him from aggroing me so I could have a second to heal when I fell down that hole. The screaming babies, I strongly... Those are probably the only enemy I really just like, because it's like... They can just scream infinitely and you have to snuff them out or to snipe them from a distance, but they're always in like a dark, holed up area. They're never at like, so far it's like hard to see them walking around outside. So, my hope, my hopes were that like, if they were out at night, they'd at least be out in the open in the middle of the street so I could snipe them. And during the day, it made sense that they stay hidden, but e even then I would like to be able to like shoot through a window and take them out before I even have to deal with their screaming shenanigans. Very fun, though. Very fun. One of my friends told me they had Dying Light. I was like, hey, let me know when you're going to do a playthrough of it, because I'll play with you. Like, that was really fun. Wouldn't mind going through it, doing all the side quests and filling everything out. But for now, I'm going to leave this here. Maybe we'll do some streaming of the side quests, because it is it is very fun. And I am curious if there's, like, what else, what other content the game has. Especially, like, the DLCs I didn't even know I had. So I might stream those later, though, later. Like, you might have to wait a little while, because I'm still, like, streaming, like, Fallout 4 and doing stuff with that. And I don't want to... I kind of don't want to risk... I don't want to accidentally do any spoilers for my episodes, but at the same time, it's like, this game's been out for a while. Should I care? I should just stream when I want to. But then again, uh, I don't know. It's so crazy thing. I might make it a... I might, may, might make it a separate playlist, maybe. I don't know. It was really fun, though. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna stream some Dying Light every now and then. We'll just have fun with it. Because it is fun. And I'm curious to look up to see if there's like cheats and silly things you can do. Like, if I can get that super kick back, I really want that back. I wouldn't mind doing... I wouldn't mind 100%ing the game if I can get the super kicks back. Because that was amazing. I loved it. But, we're gonna leave this one right here. Actually, yes. Yeah. If anyone has any questions about different things I felt about the game, feel free to comment and ask me, and I'll do my best to respond. But I'm going to leave this game right here. Thank you all. This was Ewok Templar going through Dying Light. Uh, really good. Ending, I would say, very straightforward and open-ended. I didn't know it was going to go that way from what I saw, especially since you were, like, freaking out and turning into a zombie because you don't have enough an antizen, I was actually taken back and surprised they didn't go for the hard, like, tragedy ending. Or like a mixture, kind of like... And this is not this is not a good example to pull from, but like the, the way the original Resident Evil movie ended where like they bust in and like take her with them and and the virus like i expected something like that i expected that's what i expected i expected crane to be 
up on the roof struggling from not changing, but then like the GRE come out, get the cure, but then also grab him. You know what I mean? There is a second one. I can't remember if I have it or not, but maybe one day we'll go through that one. But I want to see. Very fun gameplay wise. Story wise, actually, surprisingly straightforward. It didn't do anything that like surprised me. Like the deaths, I almost expected them, especially after the first one. Kind of, a I'm kind of surprised that Brecket, uh, Beckett didn't die too. But anyway, let's let's leave this one right here. I made this episode long enough. Thank you all. Hopefully, you all enjoyed Ewok Templar Dying Light. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button. Keep on posting. I'll see you all in the next game. Y'all take it easy.